Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here playing the Cuphead DLC and in this video I'm gonna show you how to get all 16 of the gold coins in the DLC world. I made a video just like this for the original game so I thought it was fitting. But getting all of these coins will allow you to go to Pork Ryan's Emporium and buy all of the DLC items including the three weapons, the charm, and the broken relic. We're gonna keep this video short and sweet so let's just get started near the very beginning of the island. You'll be able to do the tutorial for Miss Chalice and be shown her recipe. Here, if you just parry, then double jump onto the ledge, invincible roll through the tear in the paper, and then double jump, parry into the feather, you can reach the gold coin near the top. Next up on the Island 4 overworld, only if you've completed the main game, you can talk to this newspaper boy and they will thank you for your service clearing the islands of bad guys and they will reward you with three gold coins. Additionally, in the overworld, there is one secret hidden golden coin, as there were in all of the worlds of the main game. What you want to do is go behind Pork Ryan's Emporium. Here you can find a hidden path. Follow that hidden path by rubbing up against the walls until you reach the very end, and here you will find a gold coin. Last but not least, the remaining 11 coins can be attained through the King's Leap kind of side missions scattered around the map. You'll see these ladders hanging down from the sky. You can climb up to do the King's Leap. And there will be five champions you'll have to fight. Each one rewards you with a couple of coins. You have the pawns, the knight, the rook, the bishop, and the queen. After each one of the rounds, you'll talk to the King of Champions and they will reward you with a couple of coins at a time until you unlock all 11. At this point, you can go back to Pork Ryan's Emporium and buy all of the items. My favorite is the Crack Shot, which is super overpowered in my opinion, and the Broken Relic is super important. It has a whole side quest to it where you can repair it into a Cursed Relic and then empower it into a Divine Relic. Thank you so much for watching the video. Share with a friend, drop a like. Special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show, and I'll see you soon. Peace.